Hey fellow model modelers, just another little touch up or another little quick tidbit about the different paints. Like I said, these are the 12 paints you will find at Walmart. They are in a kit for five bucks. Apple Barrel does not sponsor this, nor does Rustolian paints. This is strictly me and voice of my opinion. I went over these 12 colors. I did pick up. There is a dark gra granite. There is burn ember. There is admiral blue. Primary blue. Timeless gray. Pavement again. Purple iris. Wild iris. These two are purple colors. Two yellows, apricot, orange, a candy apple, and an English navy. As I get all my paints, and as you can see, there's also back here, there's pewter, pewter gray. There's black, there's kayak back there. With all these different paints, I'm starting to get, as you can see, there's many different paints for acrylics. What I'm going to do is just something I want to do. So when I'm mixing my paints, I understand what color I made. And I went on Amazon, and I'm not a sponsor of these guys either, but I found what's called an eyedropper. And on here, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see there's 25, 50, 75, a millimeter. And basically what you do is you dip it in, pull some paint out, and then on something like this, which I got a couple of these. There's a couple different versions you can get. Um, you can put the color on there and then what you'll do is you'll basically put a drop down and then you put another drop and mix that. And the whole time you're writing in a notebook what you're doing. That way then you can have a master recipe to make that color again. That way it's a exact color match to what you want to have it again. I know you can just free for all it and you know take this and let's just say a lime green see what it makes and then try to duplicate it again you might get you might get it you might not by using this eyedropper right here and you have the measurements you'll know what it roughly takes or you'll know exactly what it takes to get it close enough to and then you can also take a drop of that and put it on the sheet of paper let the sheet of paper dry that way then you'll have your your master color and that way then when you mix more colors to get that color again you can take a piece of paper and butt it up against it and that way you will have it almost exact to follow up with that right back there with the paint tray right here here's another version of a paint tray holder this is a foldable one and yes I am using one hand to open it while I'm talking to you so bear with me but this one opens up as you can see this one's kind of nice because it does have where you can flip I don't know if you can see that where my thumb is you can hold it like this and it's got two places right here to hold your your paint brushes up there you have enough space to put paints in and then you have five big spaces to mix your paints up this is another version of that paint holder like I said they come in all sorts of uh, shapes and sizes as I'm sitting talking to you there's that version there's a square uh, there's the square version there's a circle version Go to the Dollar Tree, there's another version. This is a smaller version. I mean, there are tons of them out there. But that's what I'll be doing too. If you want, I can show you the video of me mixing paints and getting a master paint. Comment below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you want to see me uh, film mixing paint and getting different colors, 
Also, you're seeing, like I said, Rust-Oleum Apple Barrel, which is by Plaid. Do not sponsor this ad. They, these are just companies that I find, like at Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Ace, Home Depot, Two Value, Marvin's. But as you can see, I do use rust oleum products. This is the Satin uh, Cinnamon, which is right here on this wall. I know you can't really see that because of the lighting. But that is the Satin Cinnamon. There is the Aluminum Bond, which is for the roof vents. probably making you seasick but that's the aluminum on the roof fence flat black is back here I used it on the blast chamber so that's what I use for paints as of right now as I start going to different hobby stop shops and different places like Michaels Hobby Lobby and as I find those and I find other paints I'll let you know about them too catch you later